Welcome to the Jonas video on mail merge. So if we go to administration, mail merge documents, and you can create mail merge documents for these modules. So banquet and catering, the club management, and hotel module. We're going to look at doing one for clubs since that's the most common one. You can have multiple forms set up depending on what you need to generate. Whenever you run the mail merge, you're able to pick which form you want to use. So we're going to start by creating a new form. So let's just say we want one for member information. So just give it a code and just like everything in Jonas, the code can be anything you like. Um, Now, we don't put in this template file at this stage. We're simply looking for a description. And then there are some flags at the bottom that you need to pay attention to. Uh, do we, is this uh, form going to need the member's balance? And you would need to check this. Do you want it to include custom member information? If you don't flag this, then the mail merge in Word will not include the custom member fields. So if potentially you're going to need those, you're better to flag that. Date format. So how do you want it to be printed when you print the date on this form? You can suppress the zip code. Normally wouldn't want that. And postal zip code placement. Merge into address lines means that they'll move the zip code postal code to the last line of the address. Address tab allows you to tell it which address information to pull out. By default, the system will pull out the main one, but you always have the option to use whatever the statement's sent to as well. But if you want to be able to send it to one of the other addresses, you can also tell it to pull that information in as well. Next, we're going to click Create Template. Now, at this point, you have an option. If you already have a form set up in Word for this, you can use that existing one. You'd have to change the merge codes to match Jonas's. We're going to come at it as if we're creating a brand new one. So we're going to click create a new doc. So this will launch Word for you. And this is just a Word document. So there's nothing visual here. It's a straightforward document that you would do any other time. So you can put, obviously you can embed your logo in here if need be. And we'll just pick anything here. Oops, too far. So you can embed logos into it. You of course can put your text in for your club. So basically anything that you would do in a standard document. Then it's just a matter of creating your document with the appropriate information. So, uh, dear, and then if I click mailings, now this will vary depending on which version of Word you're using, and there'll be an insert merge field. So here are all the fields that Jonas gives you as available to pull in. So I might want to have his name, And again, it's just a matter of inserting whatever merge fields you want. Now, I'm just going to do some simple ones here. And 
telephone. And email address. So it's basically just creating whatever you like. Of course, just anything else you can have. I'm just going to put some labels in here. So once you're done designing your form, you just close it. And when you close it, it'll ask if you want to save. Yes. We will save. Now, if at any point you want to change that form, you can by going back into administration, mail merge document. And you can pick that form up and go to edit, which will open the form again and allow you to make changes. Now, to use that, there's two ways you can use it. If I just want to print it for a random member, then I can go into the member file pull up a member and it's under mailings so when I go to mailings you will see a mail merge so if I click that it'll ask me well which form do you want so if I pick info it'll confirm that it's going to merge it into my spreadsheet or my spreadsheet I should say my form and this will open Word. And drop the information in for you. Just like a regular merge. Now, the other way is that works fine for individual members, but what if I want to send it to all the members? Like I have a delinquency letter, I want to send it to everyone who's got a balance over 60 days. So for that, you're going to go to member file, so club management, member file, and there's going to be mail merge club documents. So I'm going to go in, it'll ask which document I want. So I want the delinquency. I can sort the members by name rather than by number. If you don't flag this, it'll sort it by their member number. And I can say all members. I could pick selected members and just input the members I want. But in this case, I want all of them. And I can view it or I can email it. Now, if I email it, it will email it as a PDF attachment to that. Add document to document management. This is our new document management system, which we will talk about in a different video. For right now, we're going to keep to just a standard. And so I'm just going to view these for our purposes. Now, if I hit OK, this will go ahead and print one for every single member. Basically, for my delinquency, I only want those with something older than 60 days, let's say. So I can add conditions to this just like I would for a report. So I can basically go in and go to my, say, 61 days and over, must be greater than five. So when do I want to age the balances as of today? And then this will go through and generate those forms for you for every single member. And that is it.